صلوات و سلام اشرف مرسلین سيدنا و مولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بمددكم و نظركم سيدي يا رسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم مدد يا سيدي يا سلطان الاولي من الشيخ عبد الفايز الدارستاني سلطان الاولي الشيخ محمد نازم حقاني مولانا الشيخ الشيخ مكباني الشيخ عدنان كباني الشيخ محمد عاده و عبد الخالق الخجبواني صاحب زمان سيد محمد المهدي عليه السلام و روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا علي سلام ثم سيدنا بكر صديق سيدنا أمه سيدنا أثمان إمام الحسن السلام إمام الحسين السلام سيداتنا فاطمة تزار السلام وسائر مساداتنا والصدقين الفاتحة أمين يا رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين <تصفيق> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسوله للأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Qadji Sadai for miskin zalim jahal and but for the grace of Allah <coughs> that we're still in existence and alhamdulillah in this Jumad al awwal this holy month, Jumat Awal, Jumat Thani. It's now making me confused. We're in Jumat Thani. <laughs> Almost close to Rabi al Awal. No, not Rabi al Awal, Rajab. <laughs> Allah dress us and bless us from this holy night. Keep us on the way in which is pleasing to Allah and that the end of every reality is the theme and the setting in which we prepare for the beginning of a new journey. That if something is coming to an end how you end it is as important as how you start it. <clears throat> this is a, a reality from the way of the qabr. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh And a reminder from the, the way of, of the death, the way of the grave that every, everyone claims to be on the true way. And everyone claims that they, they represent the Divine and that which is clean, that which is wholesome, that which is good. And we've talked before the proof and a major proof in life is how they end their journey upon this life. We said even for the believer and the one whom is of tafakkur and contemplation the most important chapter of this life of ours is to write the last chapter, the Ya Rabbi let me to die in faith. To, to have a good ending which Allah is pleased and that we inshaAllah gain the love and the infinite rahmah and mercy of Allah 
by loving his beloved Sayyidina Muhammad and then entering into the, the grave and the pains of death and into the last chapter Ya Rabbi with istighfar, forgiveness and a strong ishq and love for Prophet so that Allah's Holy Qur'an become true for us, that I would not punish you while you are amongst them and while they're asking for forgiveness. If we live our life in that reality that constantly asking Allah's forgiveness, constantly Astaghfirullah Nadeem, Astaghfirullah Nadeem, you know a thousand times, two thousand times, three thousand times beginning the day with the zikr of Astaghfirullah Nadeem wa Tubu Alaykum, Astaghfirullah Nadeem wa Tubu Alaykum. Continuously asking Allah's forgiveness for everything I know Ya Rabbi and probably 800 things that I don't know that are anging, angering you and I'm asking that only from the one whom can grant me that forgiveness, Astaghfirullah Nadeem wa Tubu and that you grant me that rahmah. And by asking that all day long at the beginning of the day and then the section after the beginning of the day, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen and salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad and opens an immense reality for us that we lived our life asking Allah's istighfar and asking for the salawat and durood al-sharif upon Sayyidina Muhammad and to keep that holy presence so that the holy Qur'an becomes a light for us, a protection for us where we can't rely upon our words but we rely upon Allah's words. Then how can I punish them when you are amongst them and they're asking for forgiveness? So we didn't want punishment in, in this day and on this earth, don't want to walk in, in Allah's anger on this earth. So continuously asking, Ya Rabbi Astaghfirullah wa Astaghfirullah al wa Tubu alayk that under your name of Al-Azeem in which everything is, is annihilated, that annihilate my sins and wrongdoings. And that Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in the name of your mercy and compassion that you dress us and bless us, forgive us our wrongs and grant us your rahmah and mercy and then duru the sharif upon Sayyidina Muhammad If we lived our life with that belief then the most important of that reality is then the life of the grave. That as we're entering into the grave that we're asking, Ya Rabbi grant us istighfar, grant us your maghfirah and your forgiveness, grant us your Divinely grace at this time of need and this hour of need. And that Allah grant that rahmah, grant that mercy and most important for dhakirun and those whom they live their life on dhikr of Allah and the salawat and love of Sayyidina Muhammad is what? Is to gain the presence of Prophet That in their grave the, the, best, the best of guests, the best of lights is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad to come and to bless, bless their grave, bless their abode, bless their presence so that no, no difficulty enters into that grave, no hardship is seen within that grave. Means it's such an immense, immense occasion that the true faith is the one whom prepares for that, the ones whom can claim anything they want on this earth. But what they do with their dead is the most important. That the washing, the cleansing, the washing is our ghusl. It's the last wudu, the last ghusl, the last bathing that we'll have as we're on our way to be judged and to meet with the Divinely Presence. Being put into the grave, having a life of dhikr and all the practices of dhikrullah all of these realities was a dress and that dress was to be achieved within the grave. And then the people whom they burn their bodies, whom cut up their bodies 
every type of craziness that people do to the death, that's a sign for people to look for. Not say, oh this, this path they teach this, this one teaches this, this one teach… But what do they do with their dead and how do they treat those whom passed away? Because the most important process of this earth and the… who, who claimed to have the truth of this earth was to be preparing themselves for that event. All that we do on this earth is to prepare ourselves for the eternal abode. The house in the presence of Allah Divine the Kingdom. So then that single most important event is going to be death. So all these other spiritual paths or new age paths and then find out from them what do they do with their dead? They cut them up, they throw them out, they discard them, they burn them. That's a sign that they didn't believe in the hereafter. And whatever they claimed on this world and whatever they claimed of goodness and good character were lies. All the goodness and practice of this earth was to prepare us for our meeting with the Lord of Power and the Divine the Kingdom. Means the immensity, immensity of, of these events and these preparations and these days. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us. And that we are amongst those whom continuously move into the light and have an ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad and that to be under the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad with our deeds and with our actions that we gain that nearness, that proximity and that love. And as a result then the final abode to be filled with light and ishq and the companionship of light that we take into the grave our good deeds, the companions of our good actions and that we don't want in the grave the companions of all the, the ill deeds and bad actions and bad character, that we pray that our good deeds overwhelm anything that was done wrong and incorrect and that the final resting place to be filled with lights and blessings. InshaAllah Allah dress us and bless us with His understandings, means that when Whatever we do, it's to reach the last chapter. So every day if I wrote my last chapter that I want this, I want all that I described. Every day I have to ask myself, then how am I going to achieve that? I have to have a direction in life and it's, it's importance and we talked many times on the importance of manifestation. That shaitan knows the reality and the power that Enzan has and they have the ability to manifest. So then write what you want, write the last chapter of your life, post uh, bullet points and post it on your wall. That my last chapter is to have a grave filled with light. And that to have the companionship and the love of Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad and to have my, my grave filled with good deeds and that these good deeds to be continuously overwhelming myself and my progeny, my family, my community and my children. And when I write the last chapter and I put the post-it on the wall, don't think death is far away. At any moment death can come and death has no discrimination between age and size and nationality, it is equal to all. And when we write the last chapter and we look every day, it sets the course of our life because every time we want to go out and do something, we look at that chapter and we begin our day with, Astaghfirullah, the Ya Rabbi forgive me, make sure that I keep my course like a ship that doesn't know where it's sailing. Ninety-nine percent of people they've taken their ship out to sea and they have no idea where they're going and that's not the way to govern oneself. That this ship of ours, this life of ours is to take a course towards the Divinely Presence, towards the world of light and towards the light within the grave. And then every day ask myself, am I going to reach that with these actions and with these intentions, with my character? 
And I start the day by looking at that, asking Allah's forgiveness and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad and by the end of the day I remember, did I achieve what I set out to achieve for that day? And then I take my accounting at night and I account myself that, Ya Rabbi I don't think I achieved what I wanted to achieve for that day. I don't know if I achieved those lights that I was hoping to achieve and I don't know who I've offended with my personality, with my character, with my tongue and God forbid with a hand. We hope that we leave all of those types of characteristics in which people harm other people. But did I harm anyone with my tongue and with my intentions? And we make a daily hisab and at night time and that's, that's the night time prayer that we ask, Ya Rabbi what did I do? Was I, was I on course with the direction I set for my ship and for my soul? And I have to be true to myself and take my accounting that, Ya Rabbi I didn't reach what I wanted to reach for the day, I beg your forgiveness. And that's the importance then of Salatul Tahajjud that before they sleep they understood they came short. In their Salatul Tahajjud, Salatul Najad in which they go into prostration begging Allah take away my bad character, take away my qadab and anger, take away all that, that angers you that I don't have to, to rid myself of that within the grave, take it away while I'm alive Ya Rabbi and breathing. Because all that we take with us of bad character it manifests itself in the grave and that battle is 70,000 times more difficult than just going day to day through bad character and trying to, to rid ourselves of ourselves. But when Allah puts in the box and shuts the box and throws the dirt, you're stuck with that character and you're stuck with the immense battle. The creature that you made and brought into the grave is the one that you now have to fight. And it's armed with all of our bad character and bad actions and that fight is 70,000 times more difficult in the grave. Means that we, we live our life in that preparedness to reach that destiny. That's why then it's so important and that's why the tariqahs and Sufism and this way of Islam and the soul of Islam is the tariqahs is all about the preparedness for that day. That's how real they are, that when they talk about the truth they prepare for the truth. They know it to be true and they prepare themselves for that event in the grave, for the days within the soil and the light that comes within that reality. And others that have you know expressions and stories and new age path and spiritual paths that prepare for nothing for that. There are even spiritual paths that they, they, they destroy the bodies of their, their people, they burn the bodies of people. So these become the self-evident signs of their real belief. So real belief is based on the preparation for the days of difficulty and the meeting with our Lord and with the oceans of power and with the presence and love of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us and, and bless us from the immensities of this month and to achieve the maximum amount of lights and blessings. Love those whom Allah has dressed with His Divinely love. And by means of their love we're to be dressed and blessed and to keep their holy company. That holy company is what dresses us and blesses us far beyond our own ability and, and the ability of what we have the ability to achieve inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam ala mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammadin Mustafa bi sir Surat al-Fatiha. <clears throat> How you end is important for what you're beginning. That if people say this is the end of a year and they want to celebrate it in ignorance by 
jumping up and screaming, shouting and inappropriate actions and being around inappropriate people, doing inappropriate things. The way that they leave this year will be the dress and the azab in which they open the year. And that's why Mawlana Shaykh so much despised this night because of what people will write upon their own souls. Humans are their worst enemy. That's the logic of what we describe with the grave that if you're asking for a good year to come then end the year in the dhikr of Allah in the oceans of rahmah and mercy. If you believe it to be a year and it's ending and it's beginning. For us the year is with Muharram that the Islamic calendar is based on the lunar and based on the first day of Muharram and the hijrah of Sayyidina Muhammad is the opening of our calendar. The spiritual new year is Shabban in which Allah writes the destinies of mankind upon the reality of their souls. But there's not a debate if this is correct or not correct this January 1st. But it's for the logic of people. If you believe it to be the end of a year and that you're hoping that this will be the beginning of a new year then end it in belief, end it in forgiveness, asking Allah forgiveness that whatever I did this year I beg your forgiveness, illa yanta maqsudi waridat matloob, I beg your forgiveness and seek your satisfaction. Whoever I came short in this year, whomever I hurt within this year, whatever I did wrong within this year forgive me. They can recite Grand Shaykh's du'a, du'ai manzoor in which asks Allah and has the beatific recitations from Sultan and awliya of asking that, Ya Rabbi whatever I've done wrong forgive me and that I beg you in this ocean of forgiveness that the year to open filled with your ni'mat and your blessings, that you dress me from good character, that you dress me from the lights that I achieve my Islam, I achieve my Iman, I achieve my Maqam al-Ihsan, that I achieve my presence and love in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Grant me from your bounty, from your lights, from your ridhan, from your satisfactions Ya Rabbi. Means that it's most important that when we feel a a period is ending, how we, we enter into the ending will set the theme and the flavour of a new beginning. If people go into the ending with ignorance and heedlessness and all sorts of bad character, how can they expect something new to come out of something disgusting and bad character? Means then they set the theme of something to be bad and difficulty and anger of Allah we pray that Allah take us from ignorance and bring us into the light and that take us from things that anger His Divine the Presence to the things in which please Allah's Divine the Presence and His satisfaction and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa, Sir Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.